I'm Dr. Walter Randolph. I'm a gynecologist with Genesis Healthcare System. I'm with the Women's Health Specialists section, and I have offices in New Philadelphia and Coshocton, Ohio. In women's healthcare, we deal with a lot of uh, hormonal and uh, syndromes that, that deal with women's cycles. And one of those is polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Uh, it involves uh, hormones and, and women's menstrual cycles uh, from the basic standpoint, but it can also move on to affect other body systems and uh, cause other health issues. Uh, we don't know exactly what causes it or what starts it, uh, but we are learning more and more about how to manage it and how to prevent long-term effects with it. PCOS can affect any woman uh, from very young and when they first start cycling to past menopause. And estimates are it can be as high as one in 10 uh, to one in eight, uh, which makes that a very common syndrome in the population. Uh, symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, can be many and cross multiple systems. The most common that we see is menstrual irregularity. Uh, women may just have uh, cycles that come twice a month. Some women will skip for long periods of time, but it's probably the most consistent of the symptoms. We can also see weight issues, and the weight issues tend to make the polycystic ovarian syndrome worse. And we also see symptoms such as hair growth or acne, uh, which are also related to hormones that become elevated with the syndrome. Treatment for PCOS can be complex uh, because again, it affects multiple systems. Uh, there are multiple treatment paths. Uh, some of those involve medications, some of those involve exercise and diet. Um, some of those affect systems such as, as mental health uh, as well as endocrine health. So we have to take each patient and go through their multiple symptoms and figure out which treatment plan works best for them. With PCOS, it seems to many people like we're just focusing on regular cycles, uh, but it does carry on past that. And long-term untreated polycystic ovarian syndrome can put women at risk for problems with their uterus. It can put them at risk for uh, fertility issues. Long-term, they can have problems with heart disease, diabetes, uh, and depression. So we're really focusing on trying to stop those things from occurring. A lot of times there's not a connection made between these variety of symptoms and one syndrome. And in women's health, we try and focus on that cluster of, of symptoms and connecting the dots, so to speak, so that we can start women with treatment. With PCOS, there are many symptoms and it can affect many systems within the body. So the, it can be very confusing because you may feel a multitude of, of issues are wrong and you don't think they're connected. And sometimes just being able to sit down with someone in women's health to listen and make that connection is what you need. And that's our goal is to make patients uh, heard and then be able to come up with a treatment plan for them.